Hello everyone, today we will have two interesting stories. Before we get to that, I want to ask you to subscribe, like, and be sure to write comments in order to participate in the development of the community, write how to improve my community, current topics and the stories you are interested in, and much more. I read and listen to all the comments. People write me stories by mail from different countries. There are problems with translation. I apologize for this. I will work on it and try to fix these errors. I want to thank everyone for their support and the people who wrote to me by mail. Broadcast news stories. New videos on my channel are published every two days at 7 p.m. Don't forget to put a bell in order not to miss new videos. And now, let's go. I decided to tell my real story. This situation happened a long time ago, but to this day, I can't forget this situation. It happened exactly 10 years ago. I was 30 years old. My wife was 27. My child was 2 years old. My wife got a job as an accountant in one of the companies. Even then, it seemed to me that they were engaged in questionable business. Two months have passed. I started noticing my wife's strange behavior. I still didn't fully understand why she started acting like this. But the main idea that appeared in my head... It's the thought that my wife has a lover. My wife often stayed late at work. I began to notice the smell of alcohol coming from her. The most important thing is that we rarely have sex. At that time, I was working in the security service. Since my wife often stayed late at work, the child was given to my parents. Every day, I thought my wife was cheating on me. I became very jealous of my wife. I do not know what happened to me, but I did not control myself. I started following my wife. One day, my wife called me and warned me that she would be working late, so she took the child to her parents. It seems to be nothing special, but bad thoughts appeared in my head. I take the car and drive to the office where my wife worked. My wife's working day is coming to an end, but she doesn't leave the building. When it was already dark, a jeep drove up to the exit of the building. At that moment, I saw my wife get out with two men and get into this car. The men looked to be about 35 years old. I was scared. My breathing quickened. I followed them. On the way, they stopped at a supermarket. The men got out of the car and jumped into the supermarket. The men put their large bags in the trunk and got into the car. At that moment, I thought, where will they go now? As it turned out, to our house. I had a shift that day and my wife thought I was at work. But earlier, I asked my partner to replace me. Three guys, my wife and another girl, got out of the car near my house. I've never seen this girl before. She looked about 18 years old. They entered the house. I quickly went inside the house through the backyard and climbed into the closet. I hear a dialogue between a guy and my wife. The guy asks my wife, how long have you had sex? The wife replies that there has not been sex for two weeks. The guy asks, does your husband not turn you on anymore? Yes, I'm not interested in having sex with my husband anymore, my wife replies. Do you want to try something new? The guy asks my wife. Are you offering me sex so directly? My wife asked. But why pretend to be a saint? The guy muttered. Let's go to the second room. The girl and our boss went there. The guy said. My wife replied that, Let's go to the kitchen because it's inconvenient here. Ask the second guy to come out and smoke. I look and hear through a small crack. The guy takes his hand out from under her skirt. My wife takes off her blouse. They enter the room. I don't see anything anymore. I just hear moans. After about 20 minutes, the second guy comes out to smoke. After another 10 minutes, the guy who had sex with my wife comes out. I hear the dialogue between the two guys again. She works well with her mouth. It looks like she really likes it herself. Why aren't you in the mood today? I think she won't give up on you either. Our boss doesn't seem to like this girl. At that moment, my wife went out to smoke with them. I went into the bedroom. The boss and the girl are already asleep, my wife said. One of the guys entered the house. My wife stayed to finish her second cigarette. They spoke for life. Then the conversation turned to the topic of intimacy. The second guy suggested to my wife to arrange a second race. I heard the sound of the kiss again. I was trying to look through a crack in the closet. When I opened the closet door, I saw that my wife's blouse was unbuttoned. I do not know how I endured everything I saw and heard. Why didn't my heart jump out of my chest? There was almost nothing to be seen in the room. Just some silhouettes on the couch. The rest, I could only imagine. I, I still didn't realize that two guys were having sex with my wife at the same time or taking turns. No one else went out to smoke. After about an hour, the lights came on. All the guests in my house were about to leave. It was about 5 o'clock in the morning. My wife in a bathrobe saw off the guests and cleaned the house. 
I didn't see anything else. I quietly got out of the closet and went outside. I was walking down the street like a zombie. I got home by 10 o'clock in the morning. My wife was no longer at home. There were a couple of unwashed glasses in the kitchen stained with lipstick. I collected all my wife's things and put them out the door. I sent her a voice recording of her conversations with men. The next day, I immediately filed for divorce. My wife tried to talk to me, but then she realized that I knew everything in detail and calmed down. My wife took the child and went to live with her parents. That's how my family life ended. I don't forget my child. My child has everything he wants. Of course, he doesn't have a father who could be around. As time went on, I began to move away from this situation. My wife tried to restore our relationship, even quit the company, but I will never be able to forgive it. Now I've met a nice girl. We started living together. She has a similar situation. Her husband cheated on her. Everything is very good in our relationship. She and I have learned from our past mistakes. To be honest, at the moment, I'm not sure about the female gender, but I hope I can start a new life. My wife still lashes out at men. She still can't find a decent man. It seems to me that if a person leads such an immoral lifestyle, along the way, he will encounter similar people. So everyone gets what they deserve. So, friends, here's the story. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss new videos. Before we move on to the opinion of the author of the channel, we will have another short story. Let's go! Friends, I've been through a similar hell. My ex-wife is a bitch. She cheated on me with her boss for a whole month. Then, they were caught on the hot by the boss's wife. She called me and told me everything in detail. How could I not notice this for a whole month? I don't even know. Anyway, my wife and I had a fight. My sister called me and I went to her to help my niece. She had a serious spinal injury. She got this injury at birth. As a result, while I was taking my niece to the doctors, my ex-wife had sex with her boss. How did the boss's wife find me? It's very simple. We met before all this sex marathon at a corporate party. I didn't have a fight with my ex-wife. I just packed her things and kicked her out. It's been two years. My wife tried to restore our relationship. She told me such nonsense that I was shocked. I haven't heard that in the whole time of our marriage. It turns out she loved me so much that I didn't even know about it. But at the same time, she was having sex with her boss. But it wasn't serious for my wife. It didn't mean anything to her. It is clear that I told her not to come to me anymore. As a result, two families were destroyed. One child was left without a father. After my wife became free, she did not continue the relationship with her boss. Probably, the love has passed and the tomatoes have wilted. I currently live with my sister. I don't want any more relationships. I don't trust the female sex at all. No, I didn't break down, but my life didn't get any better. I just shut myself off from the girls. I'm even very glad that I divorced my wife. There was a lot of shit in this marriage. I do not believe that it is possible to build a normal relationship in our time. Modern girls have no moral values. I am generally silent about conscience and feelings. What is honor for a girl? In fact, it's something out of science fiction movies. It's just something unreal. It turns out like in an old song, it's better to live your whole life alone than to find your home and live in it with just anyone. That's the whole story. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Now let's move on to the opinion of the author of the channel. Opinion of the author of the channel. Before I say a few words about the situation, I want to wish strength to our heroes of these stories. In the first case, in the place of a man, Yab did not sit in the closet until the last. To be honest, Yab couldn't stand the pressure. Therefore, I can say with confidence that this person has very good endurance. Yab would bury everyone in this house. Well, this is the problem of all people in this world. That sooner or later, everyone wants to try new sensations. But why can't people understand that all this is based on a psychological level? That it's actually the same feeling? It just depends on what's in your head. But the guy is great that he divorced his wife about distrust of the female sex. I will say this, every man after a breakup thinks about it. Yes, to be honest, there are fewer and fewer girls suitable for relationships nowadays, but there are still such girls. Most often, men do not notice these girls. By the way, this is the most interesting fact. All men are attracted to unsuitable girls, so don't get depressed. Just <laughs> take a good look around, and the one you need will still be found. In the second case, the guy is right that girls nowadays have neither conscience nor honor. 
Just understand that all these girls will never have a happy life. If you have watched to the end, I want to say thank you very much. I love you all. Thank you for joining me on this exciting journey of love, betrayal, and redemption. I appreciate your support and encourage you to subscribe, like, and share this story. Your participation and feedback are invaluable for shaping our content and promoting mutual understanding and community growth. Until we meet again.